Guys, can you beat Sunset Golf? This is beautiful. And we're down here at Trump, Dubai. This is a fabulous golf course, well worth a visit if you're in the region. And based on the success of a previous video at Arabian Ranches where I did irons only, we're talking in particular about the setups under different circumstances with different clubs, i.e. hitting off the tee or ball above the feet or hitting a mid iron or hitting a long iron. We're going to be talking through every single shot with that because these next few holes give fantastic variety and hopefully it's something that you can learn from during the course of this video. First off, we've got a short par four, it's 240 to the front. So I've got a four iron and we're gonna be going straight out to the big part of the fairway down the left-hand side. Obviously you can see down the right here, we've got a lot of bunkers and a lot of wasteland. So gotta make sure that we avoid that. Big thing with these long irons is making sure that we get that full commitment in the rotation, get the width to how far that club travels is your, is your power, it's your, the width of your arc and the speed is going to give you the distance. Also, we've got to make sure the lower body is really active on the way through the ball, particularly with the long irons more so than the hybrids because the irons don't give you the, the lift and the elevation and the spin like a hybrid would do. So we've got to make sure that we've got speed and rotation into the ball. And that's pured straight down the middle. Next shot's gonna be really key. It's gonna be a little 50 yarder, I'd say, or so, maybe less. And we're gonna be talking through how to play that. I'm now hitting into probably the narrowest green in Dubai, maybe even in the world. As you can see, it's got an elevation. There's about 10, no, eight yards maximum of green and then it goes over the other side. I've got 70 yards to the flag. So normally I'll just hit a little 54 degrees to get that little first skiddy bounce and then it'll stop. But actually we need the, the landing angle to be a lot steeper. So I'm gonna go in with more height. I've got a 58 degree here, slightly into wind. So I'm playing this like a 75 yard shot, but this is typical, kind of old to say, it's gotta land on a sixpence. And in this instance, it's very, very true. So even with this particular shot, it's not full power, but I'm still gonna make sure, see how my body's moving, my hips are still active, my chest is still ro rotating back. I'm using my bigger muscles to dictate speed and length of swing. A good strike. It's just, just pitched on the front edge. Thankfully, it stayed there. Two or three yards shorter, that was rolling back down the bank. Right, we're gonna to get to the next tee because you know what? I don't have a putter with me, but anyway, this video is all about irons and executing them in different scenarios. 13th hole here at Trump International is a par five, 530 yards, but I'm gonna break this down into a four iron, followed by a seven iron, and then a wedge into the green. So we can talk about long and mid irons in this, in this vlog. So, ball set up on a tee, tee height is key. Just a, just a fraction above the top of the, the blades of grass so you can, we can hit up on the ball and just gather it nicely through the impact zone. Good strong posture, rotation. That's a good shot, but it's actually a little bit on the right side to be fair. It's a, it's a massive fairway, it's a good, Honestly, it's a good 70 yards wide, this fairway. I've hit the right side of it, which would leave me longer for my second, but it doesn't really matter in this video because we're gonna be talking next about six irons. So we are gonna hit a six iron because that's probably gonna leave me then an eight or a nine iron in, so we can go into like a slightly shorter one. So six iron compared to my four iron, ball position's gonna change. My, my four iron off the tee was a little bit more towards the inside of my left heel. Four iron off the deck just pops back a little bit more. Six iron off the deck also pops back a little bit more. What you'll notice is my feet as well, they're not at the same angle. My, my lead foot is often more flared out as it helps me with rotation, helps me with hip turn to go through the shot. And that's a great thing because it allows this left hip to work upwards and my body to rotate, which if I can get the rotation to, hit, to the ball before my hands and arms and the club head, I create maximum power. If I've got any sort of resistance here, then my hands catch up and I lose a lot of power. So start to maybe look into how you can create more power through more rotation, through faster rotation, or through both together. Right, so I'm gonna be hitting, well, there's bunkers just short of the green. 
that is actually going to be my line with this club so ball position just just forward of center good strong posture weight into my left side left hip over left foot a touch really get my back rotating to the target and just do that oh we're on it today i've just been trying out a brand new training gauge which has got me probably too excited okay training aid should not get me this excited but this one has stay tuned to the channel depends when you're watching this but 15th of december it's going to get released honestly it was phenomenal i've just been on the range with it phenomenal we've gone four iron six iron we're down now to a nine iron so what changes again between the four the six and the nine the nine iron is going to go a lot more central in my stance i'm actually going to make, my sternum is going to be more over the golf ball my rib cage is more over the golf ball my head is more over the golf ball and that's the way i want to make sure that i stay as i'm coming into impact so as i get to the top of my backswing my lower body is going to drive through the golf ball but i'm going to make sure that i stay in posture I'm going to make sure that I don't get that early extension. I'm going to make sure the club doesn't go on the outside. So you're going to cover two options there, whether you're outside or inside. I'm just going to make sure here I get into that position. That's my key. Lower body started to clear to the left of the golf ball. Hands are working in front of the golf ball. I've got one, four, six. Got a nice smooth nine iron, hopefully on in regulation. Left foot still flared again to give me the feeling of the rotation. It was an okay strike and it's enough to get me just <laughs> literally just onto the front edge of the green right our next hole is a glorious little par four stay tuned right the sun is setting here in dubai which means one thing it'll be pitch black in about three seconds so we're going to play this hole it's a long par four so it's going to require four iron off the t well i've only got a four iron off the tee and then my next shot is probably going to be a four iron again, but we're going to go with the second, the second shot on this. We're going to play a low punchy one off the back foot, and then we'll deal with the third as and when, if we need to, when we get there. But I'm going to talk through the low shot after this one. So start with standard par four, four iron tee shot. Look at that now. Aim it just down the right portion of the fairway for a little draw. Like that and stay tuned for the stinger not that you actually need it here in dubai ever okay this is gonna be the last shot of the vlog 220 yards to go beautiful backdrop sunset in behind the apartment buildings it's just beautiful time of year to be here in november so we're gonna be talking through the punchy little shot little punchy four iron shot now how i would play this is as i take my setup i get the ball position not on the back foot i would actually say pretty much no shot goes on the very back foot unless you're playing a really low chip and run from right next to the green certainly a punch shot wouldn't go as far back as the inside of the right heel or the back heel where it would go is if you take the setup i would put it in the center and then just shuffle a touch okay so i am literally putting it almost the equivalent of where i've got my six or seven iron where that's forward i would put this just back behind center so we're talking very minimal amounts because i don't want the ball to be too far or at all behind my sternum i don't want it behind my head because we're going to really struggle to get to the golf ball so as we take the setup here it's just back of center my head now is pretty much on the golf ball or tiniest on the left side of it, front side of it. As you can see, I've got my weight more in towards my left side. And as I rotate now, what I'm going to try and make sure I do is I keep my lower body very stable, but then really uncoil it through impact. So what I'm trying to do there is get even more of a head start on the golf club with my lower body. I want my lower body to be clear even more than usual for two reasons. One, I'm trying to hit the ball lower. So I want my upper bottom, I want the hands to be slightly more ahead of the golf ball than what they would, normally would do, as well as what the ball position is encouraging me to do. But also secondly, I want my body to be rotating through the golf ball to square the face up. Because the ball position is so far back in my stance, the normal, and I've got a long club, is very easy to get the club stuck open. So I'm using extra rotation, more of a forceful kind of core rotation through the ball to get the face back to square. And that's the key in this. 
square forget about the distance the height and all that you've got to make sure you square the face up so weight forward sternum forward get my turn through the ball oh my god that is phenomenal that's actually the best shot of it so far in this video Whew, that was thoroughly enjoyable guys thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this vlog if you have please do hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you want golf lessons follow me on the skillist app just search my name also come in for a golf lesson free consultation on there on zoom as well if you wanted to get to know a little bit more about how the online golf lesson system works i've got to be honest it's a million times better than i ever thought it was going to be it is awesome so guys thanks for watching this video hope you've enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one